Hey everybody, I am here with a quick tutorial on how to make, well rather sublimate, a car freshie. And if you don't know what a car freshie is, I didn't either a couple of weeks ago, but it is a car air freshener that you can put in your car to make it smell really good. As always, we're starting in Canva um, because we're gonna create a design that we're gonna put onto our car freshie. So we're gonna go to create a design and then we're gonna go down to custom size here. And then I, the size of the freshies are three by four. I'm gonna make it a little bigger and I'll explain why later. So change the units to inches and we're gonna do a 3.25 by 4.25, okay? And then we're gonna click on create a design. So we're gonna go to elements and I'm just gonna type in sunflower background and see what comes up. Let's head to graphics. Ooh, they have a lot of cute ones. Let's use her. She's really cute. Okay, so we're just gonna fit it to the size of our freshie. Okay. And honestly, you could stop here. You can make your freshie look like this, but I'm gonna take it a step further and I'm gonna add some wording. Okay, so we're gonna go to text and heading and I'm gonna do something silly. Like she's a 10 but she hits curbs, okay? Shout out to all my homegirls who hit curbs. Them curbs hit us, okay? So I'm gonna make it white and I'm gonna change the font as well to one of my favorites, which is Tan Songbird, okay? And as you can see, Tan Songbird is a really thick font. So we're gonna have to do some adjusting, which is okay. So I'm gonna head to line spacing and we're going to just slide her down a little bit. And I actually think I'm gonna do it like this. She's a 10, but she hit curves, okay? But she hits curves. And as you can see, this is kind of blending into the background and that's what we don't want. So I'm gonna highlight the letters and then I'm gonna head to effects. And then I'm gonna head to outline. And as you can see, already so much more visible to read. Um, they automatically turned it to the color gray. I am going to turn it black, but also I am going to thicken the line here. So the thickness I believe can go all the way up to 200 and that's where I want it to be. I want it to be completely readable. And then we're going to just make sure she's nice and centered. Now, with freshies, you don't want it too close to the top because there is a hole up there to where you put the string so you can hang it from your rearview mirror. So you do not want to put it all the way at the top. You don't want to do that. There's a hole there. It's not going to sublimate through the hole, guys. So kind of just make sure it's nice a little bit below the center. And I think this is great. And that's it guys, that's my freshy design. Like I said, and like I always say in Canva, you can let your freak flag fly. You can give these as gifts. You can sell these at craft fairs and pop-ups. Um, the possibilities are completely endless, but we're gonna continue on. We're gonna go ahead and share this. We're gonna click download and we're gonna share it as a PNG, okay? And then we're gonna click on download, okay? Now we're gonna head to none other ladies and gentlemen, than the most high-tech system ever, Google Docs. Uh, yes, we're going to Google Docs, everybody. This is where we are going to download and print our Freshie. So you're gonna go to File and you're gonna go to Page Setup. And you wanna make sure that all of your margins are set to zero. Mine are automatically set that way. I saved it as my default because I've been doing a lot of sublimating, but you wanna, they're usually at one. You wanna change every single last one of these to zero, okay? Then what you're gonna do is go to insert image and upload from computer. And there's our freshie. Now, as you can see, when it comes into Google Docs, it covers up the whole eight and a half by 10. Our freshie is not this large. So what do we do? We're gonna go ahead here, slide down these three dots here that says image options. We're gonna tap on that and we're gonna click on where it says size and rotation. So tap on size and rotation and we're gonna do the same size that we did in Canva 
which was 3.25 times 4.25, okay? And if we slide up, there she is. Now, this one freshie for an eight and a half by 11 inch sheet is a heinous crime against your pocketbook, against your wallet. You don't wanna do that because it's only gonna print one. You can make multiple. And also keep in mind, if you want your freshies designed to be on the front and the back, you're gonna have to print two anyway. So what do we do? We can copy and paste. So you can do Command C, Command V, um, if you're a Mac user, if you're a Windows user, I believe it's Control C, Control V. Um, so, or you can right click, copy, paste, you know, whatever most comfortable for you. That's just one freshie, guys. Look at the rest of this paper. Look at all this paper. So you can do another one. All right. Command C, Command V. Now that's fair. I think this is fair and right, okay, to at least do two freshies per eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Now, we don't want them quite on the edges like this. This is too close to the edge, okay? We wanna scoot these bad boys over. So how do we do that? Click on one of the designs and right in the middle here, it says wrap text. Go ahead and tap on that and that's gonna allow you to slide it over and move it, okay? And you wanna do the same thing for each one of them get them off of those corners you don't want them on the corners so once again we're going to hit wrap text slide it over wrap text slide it over you do not want it on those corners even at the top let's bring it down a little here boom 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 next we have to print it so we're going to head to file and then we're going to head to print and then click on your printer, which you're using. My sublimation printer is an Epson ET 2400 series two that I converted to a sublimation printer using hippo ink. If you guys would like to see a video on how I converted my Epson eco tank printer into a sublimation printer, let me know in the comments below. I'm going to go ahead and click on the printer that I am going to use, okay? And then we are going to go to more settings and we're going to go to print using system dialog. In these settings, as you can see, there's a couple of things that we have to change. First thing we have to do is flip the image horizontally. Why do we have to flip it horizontally? When it prints out, it's almost like if you're a Cricut user and you have to mirror the image so that it reads correctly, that's what we have to do also for sublimation things. Next thing you wanna do is head to print settings, okay? And for the media type, you wanna click on premium presentation paper matte. That is going to give you the best quality print go into quality and click on high quality. So once you have clicked those settings, okay, you can go ahead and click on print. Let's meet over at the craft table. Here they are printed. Put some butcher paper down and put the design down face side up and the freshie on top. Then you're gonna add some heat resistant tape to both sides, flip it over, and then add butcher paper underneath to protect your heat press surface. And then we're going to press it at 365 degrees for 60 seconds. Remove it and quickly take it off of the tape and off of the butcher paper and reveal the design. Then you want to take your hand, put it on top to leave it flat. It's going to be kind of malleable. So that's why we're putting our hand on top. Use heat resistant gloves if you need to. Now we're designing the other side, heat resistant tape, butcher paper on top and press. Once again, very quickly remove it from the item because you don't want the paper to start cooking on top of the design and there it is a car freshie thank you so much for watching don't forget to smash that notification bell and subscribe bye